Gabby Action here. This is video number three in the dry fire training series. Uh, last video we looked at the grip. Uh, in this video we are going to look at the sight pitch or sight picture, um, what it is, uh, why it's important and how, uh, how we get it. So um, stay tuned and we'll get into it. Mates, all right, if you're new, thank you for clicking on. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell down the bottom. That will get you notifications for my latest uploads and it'll keep you up to date. If you're returning, thank you for your interest. I'm learning a lot from you guys, uh, from your comments, your interactions. Um, from new shooters and also experienced shooters, so appreciate that. Continue that. I would, um, I really do enjoy that. Okay, so in this video, what are we looking at? We are looking at the sight picture or sight pitch, they call it. So, what is it? All right, so. In my, to my knowledge, uh, as a newbie uh, into the sport, newbie into um, into this, uh, I guess, uh, arena, uh, sight pitch is, I guess, bringing those sights. Um, I'm competing to production sites, so I've got open sights, so no red dot or anything like that. Um, my open sights, so bringing my sights up to the target, so target acquisition, um, so I can get that mark on. All right, so I'll try and simulate. So that's, uh, I guess, the rear sight for you guys uh, at the front there, and then that's the front sight. Okay, so that's what it looks like. We're going to try and get that. In between there on the target so we can hit those x's or hit those tens all right so now i'm uh, competing in pistol action so it's not really precision shooting um uh, we do have a big target but it does become precision when it comes to a tie or finding out first second and third places because we need to hit those x's and the, the x's are the uh, the black dots um right in the center of the, uh, of the of our targets that we shoot so you got your 10 and then inside your 10 there's a black dot so or a big black dot so all the tens uh, inside that black dot are called X's, so that's what determines, um, I guess, ties, I guess, or tie breakers and things like that. So that's what I need to try and do. So I need to go and get my iron sights up as quick as I can um, onto those um, that, that 10, even the X's, and so we can uh, break that trigger and get those um, those shots on the mark. All right, so that's, that's what it is. Uh, let's have a look uh, on why it's important. Okay, mate, so why is it important? So I've got a target here that we actually shoot. So this is the... Um, the pistol action target as you can see you got a, a big black dot in the middle so these this is a 10 here okay and this is nine eight and then we've got anywhere on the outside of that ring is fives okay so what we want to try and do is try and get these tens okay these x's as as much as we can all right so that's why we want to try and get up get our target or get our sights up and hit those get all of our rounds inside that black is uh is where we want it um Although these ones do get points, okay, these are where we want to hit the mark, okay? So that's why it's important. Now, really important to get those uh, that sight picture, I guess, first time, uh, fast, and I guess, correct all the time. So this is all involved with my training, um, is trying to get in that muscle memory, knowing where that hand or that pistol has to go under my dominant eye so that I can line all my sights up first time, not needing to move around or find where they are. I need to be able to be proficient enough to be on the trigger, uh, on the range, sorry, training. So we're coming out of the holster, I go straight under that dominant eye and get those sights right driving straight to my um, to those targets. All right, so I guess there's a couple of things, like I said, speed. Um, we do have a time frame, seven to eight, even nine seconds to get those shots down. So less time trying to find um, where my sights are and then getting them on that target is, uh, is better. So obviously speed. Accuracy, you obviously want to get onto that black dot, like I said, that tens and X's. So um, you definitely want to get that side pitch first time. You don't want to hit a flyer and then have to adjust. You want to try and get that first shot off right on the target where you want it, and then your follow-up shots exactly where you want it as well. Okay, rather than being off the mark and then having to make adjustments quickly inside the time frame and going back onto that target. Okay, and obviously uh, consistency. Okay, so a uh, speed, accuracy, and consistency. You want to be able to. Uh, like I said, getting that muscle memory. Uh, this is where all that training on the um, on the range is. So your body knows where it goes, how it drives out, how high it is, 
where it goes, and you get your focal um, on those sites. So part of your training, not only uh, the mechanics, is your eyes as well. Funny enough, um, your eye, your reticle, uh, does zoom in and out, obviously like a, uh, like a lens, and depending on where you're focusing, far and near, that's how your eyes adjust. So you need to train your eyes um, to look down those rear sights, to the front sights, and then out to the target, okay? In the background there. We'll talk a little bit more about technique very soon, but that's basically what you gotta try and do, okay? Get out there, look straight down, and get those uh, rear sights, uh, front sights lined up, straight through to your target, and away you go. All right, so they're the three important reasons why uh, sight pitch uh, is extremely important uh, with your dry fire training. Um, definitely for speed, definitely for accuracy, and definitely for consistency. All right, now let's uh, let's have a look on how we get it. Special Mogul 34, I'll bust it out, and uh, we'll see how we go. All right, mate, so this is my Glock 34, my competition or production pistol. Now, just before we start, just a bit of a safety brief, nothing down the chamber here. You can see it's locked back, uh, no magazine, no, uh, no ammunition anywhere, and there's no other people, all right? So this is my competition uh, pistol. It is factory, so there's no upgrades, no modifications. Um, just a little upgrade, sorry, um, with uh, little minor things, um, but still within the, um, we're still within the, uh, the guidelines of production class. We'll go uh, over that maybe in another video. But so we're talking about sights, okay? So how do we get that uh, pitch sight or sight picture? Now with the production or factory pistols, uh, particularly strike fire, they've got two uh, sights. They've got a rear sight and a front sight, okay? So if you can see here on the Glock 34, that rear sight is that U shape here, okay? And on the front sight is that dot. Okay, so what you want to try and do is you want to try and get that U or that dot in the between of that U right there like that. And then of course, at the end or at the front uh, side, you'll have your target, okay? So you want to line your front side, okay? In the middle of your rear side, aiming where you want your impact. All right, so now what I'm having trouble um, at the moment with the factory sides is uh, the front side actually takes up the whole target at 50 meters. So I need to swap these sides out, particularly the front side, um, to a smaller one, and also the rear, so I think I'm going to go into a, um, they call them, I think, um, not holograph, uh, anyway, bright sides, okay, so um, there's the rear side and the front side, I have to swap out, um, so there's a brighter colour, because the white tends to um, be a bit hard to um, focus, and then obviously my, my front side is very big, uh, it's, it, it takes up the whole target, so I really can't get that accuracy um, outside at 50 meters okay so that's how we get that um that side picture lining up that front side with the rear side okay particularly on the block okay uh in that u and then obviously pointing straight at your target trying to get those x's okay so um that's how we find it now let's see how we drive it out um uh, and some of the techniques and some of the drills that i'm doing are to get that uh side pitch straight away and, and right on uh where i want it or where i need it Okay, mate, so let's have a look at uh, some of the drills that I've been doing, um, especially at the very start of my journey, uh, to get my, my eyes to focus uh, on whichever target I want to. Now, um, as we all know, our eyes, our reticles are designed to focus in, focus out, um, and they're not really designed to look at more than one thing at once um, because everything around it is blurry. So if you're looking for something in the background, the forefront or the front uh, ground is blurry. If you look at something in the front, the background is usually uh, blurry. So we need to try and learn and adjust um, our, I guess our reticle, our focal point, so that we can learn to focus where we need to. So I'm going to turn side on, and we're going to go through the very first drill that I went, uh, that I got taught. Okay, so all you do is you simulate uh, your rear sight. So uh, my uh, my trainer did tell, show me with the fingers. I'm going to do it with thumbs because I find it a little bit uh, just a little bit easier. All right. So from here, the rear thumb is going to simulate uh, the rear sight, and the front thumb is going to simulate the um, the front sight, and the wall that you're facing is going to um, uh, simulate the target down range, all right? So these are the two or the three uh, focal points I want. So from here, we just close our, um, our, our weak eye. So we're focusing with our dominant eye and we just try and get these thumbs uh, both aligned, okay? So here, so one behind the other. Okay, now once we've got that, I just pop my front thumb a little bit higher so I can see it poking out, okay? So that I'm in position here. All right, so the drill is from here, I get into my, uh, my I guess, aiming position where I close that wee guy, and I focus on my rear side, which is this thumb, and then for a couple of seconds, and then I come off, okay? Open both eyes, because it does take, uh, stress a little bit your eye to keep those eyes shut. Now from here, I close again, and now I focus on the middle, or my front, sorry, my front side. My front side, 
Now I can see my rear sight or my rear thumb a little bit blurry, and then I relax. Okay, and then from there, I look downrange at my target, in this case the wall, or you can put a target um, uh, down there as well. Um, and I look at the wall, and I'm looking at the wall now, and both of my thumbs are slightly blurry. And then I come off. All right, so you do that a couple of times, uh, shifting your focal point at the rear sight or the rear thumb, uh, front sight, front thumb, or your target. You can go in order or you can switch between, okay? But you'll understand and start finding uh, your eyes will start adjusting and you'll actually find how hard or how difficult it actually is. Now, the reason why I close my eye or my weak eye for just three seconds and then come off, if you hold it for too long, you start to uh, twitch and then this one starts to close and it all goes it all goes um, south. So um, so try and keep that weak eye closed for maybe three seconds, get that focal point within that three seconds, and then hold it for maybe one or two seconds, and then um, and go from there. Now, of course, as you get better with it, you can, uh, once you've got more, a bit more control with your weak eye, uh, and your dominant eye doesn't close as much, um, obviously you can get those time frames uh, in different uh, different sequences, okay? So that was the first drill, okay? My, my thumbs, my two sides, I'm just switching between uh, my rear thumb, my front thumb, the target, okay? Now the best thing about that is you can do that anything, anywhere, and I remember at work, um, obviously not a busy time, and obviously not in the, in the public eye, uh, I'm doing that uh, at the wall and, and getting my eyes um, um, trained, I guess, uh, for, you know, 10, five minutes, five to 10 minutes, and that's all you need is, uh, every day, or, you know, as, as much as you can, okay? So that's drill number one. Let's have a look at uh, the second training drill that, um, that I used. Okay, so uh, training drill number two, um, again, pretty basic. I go down to one thumb now, or I did go to one thumb, and your thumb, you get an object. It could be um, anything. It could be a, a picture. It could be uh, it could be any object in the distance, a car, okay? Um, and all you do is get that thumb out as fast as you can, okay? Get that domino over that thumb, and you want to get that thumb to cover, okay, that target or that object that you're looking at. All right, so you could be looking, um, maybe, um, you know, there's, there's an object over there. You look over there, close that eye, and try and get your thumb to cover that, um, that object, okay? So that's just trying to get you to focus and get that thumb over that object, um, simulating uh, the target downrange um, over, that, over that target or over that thumb, cover that thumb um, with... Uh, Cover the target with your thumb, all right? And again, three seconds or, you know, wherever you want, and then just rest, okay? Then you look over here, look, go, go to another one, look over here, I'm looking at a tree over there outside, good, okay? So you learn to get that thumb over, okay? Um, if I'm looking at the Buddha behind me, I'll use my thumb, so if I use my thumb here, looking at the Buddha behind me, there it is, bit of a different angle. Uh, and then that's it, okay? The white ball just here, well, you can see the white ball, so I go here, I'll push it out, close that eye, get my thumb over that target. Okay, so that tells me that the thumb is over that target, and hold it there. All right, so that's drill number two. Um, so instead of using two sides, now you're just focusing on one, covering that target um, as quick as you can, all right? Still getting those, those, uh, those eyes to practice uh, that focus, focusing. All right, let's have a look at the final drill. Okay, so uh, drill number three, again, all safe here, nothing down the chamber, no magazine up here, and okay, slide lock back, no ammunition, no people around. Okay, so drill number three, so as we know, there's the rear side here, that U, and then that white dot here. So all I'm doing is from here getting my uh, my grip, uh, we covered that last video, getting that grip, and then driving it out and looking through. Okay, trying to get that hole, or that front side straight in between those two. Okay, and then coming back. Okay, don't worry about the target down range. Okay, that's all we want to do because obviously you want to get that front sight into in between that rear sight. So again, driving it out, getting there first time. Now, I think I'm okay at the moment. Okay, I go here. I'm getting straight in between that uh, front sight is straight in the middle of that rear sight. I used to go here and then I'd lose my front sight. Okay, so obviously it was dipping. Okay, or raising, and then I'd spend a couple of seconds to find where it is, and I'd hold it for about three seconds to six seconds, and then I'd come back. Okay, then I do it again. I find myself off again, so I fix myself. Here I am. Three, two, one, three, six seconds and drive it out. And doing that, I finally got used to, okay, driving out straight away on the mark. Okay, going out, boom, straight away on the mark. That, uh, that front sight straight away in between. Okay, so here, straight away in between. So now, I'm not dipping, I'm not rising. Okay, 
I'm getting in there, and that's purely because I've been practicing this drill, and, uh, and my arm knows where to go, how high, under that dominant eye, and I can drive and see exactly where it is. Sometimes there's a little adjustment, but most of the time, it's quite good, I go straight underneath. Okay, so that's drill number three, um, on getting that sight picture, sight picture. All right, let's, uh, let's review. All right, mates, that's the end of this video. Uh, video number three in the dry fire training series, um, sight pitch, sight picture. Okay, so very important to, uh, to get uh, training with that. All right, our next video is gonna be number four, and we're gonna do a low ready video, okay? So trying to get uh, our grip and our pitch to work in together, sight pitch to work in together. Okay, so from low ready, getting up, making sure our grip is right, making sure our sight pitch is right, uh, so we can uh, break the trigger, or hopefully get into the next step, which is breaking the trigger, okay? Now guys, uh, don't forget to leave a comment below for those newbies, uh, experienced shooters. If you have any uh, questions, any um, uh, advice, or any recorrections of what I've said in this video, uh, remember, I am a newbie. This is just my, uh, I guess, my knowledge and me putting things together. Um, I haven't been on the gun range for a very long time. Um, so just me thinking out aloud and helping me understand what I'm doing so I can um, form and compete with athletes, hopefully, uh, when I get into the match. So don't forget to, to leave a comment. Also, subscribe and like, follow if you haven't already. I would appreciate you th uh, to do that. And don't forget, we do have Facebook. Oh, we are on Facebook. Probably the best platform because that's where I put up most of my recent or most up-to-date uh, content with questions, videos, little clips, and things like that. All right, so don't forget to look at LKB Action on Facebook. And lastly, don't forget our merch. You can see me wearing the shirt now. This is the red one, so this is the supporter shirt, okay? Um, so they're available. Also, we've got stickers, a couple of stickers um, that we've got, for, and also some of the shirts, okay? Now, I am working on my uh, dedicated deer hunting one uh, for those deer hunters. Um, so this is the hunt, the rut uh, collection. Uh, I'm working on my first T-shirt of that. It should be coming out this week or, or should be uh, very soon, so look out. But that pretty cool looking shirt okay all right guys uh, until the next video uh, don't forget to shoot safe check out sports shooting and get on the trigger